<laughs> oh yeah. Um three powers when you fighting to to be positive when you're fighting to stay in the now and not get caught up in the past, stressed out about the past or stressed out about the future, depressed by either one of those two elements, but staying in the now and staying in the now and, you know, trying to control my emotions because we have sensitive thugs nowadays, <clears throat> people who uh, will kill you for stepping on their shoe. So we're all upset. Uh, you know, Capitol Hill gets stormed. They storm the Capitol. We have Will and Jada Pinky with the entanglement pandemic. And money is about to be exempt. And everybody that had all of their money in, invested the investment people, Robin Hood, and they, the poor man gets an advantage with the AMC stocks and also the Game Boy stocks. And they stopped the whole assembly line because they didn't want to pay the poor people because that actually broke the wealthy people down. Jeff Bezos steps down from president of Amazon. Amazon trucks get stolen on a daily basis. People steal packages off a of folks' porch. I used to work for Jeff Bezos at Amazon when I first moved here to Georgia. It was a sweat box. And I got out. God bless me, I got out a few weeks before the pandemic hit. Shout out to my dude that from he lives in Macon, Georgia, but he's from uh, New Orleans, Louisiana. He got displaced or moved because of Hurricane Katrina. He gave me a blue pair of um, tennis shoes, and I appreciate that. Um, people are suffering. They're struggling, they're going through things, and it's a mental breakdown that happens. Some people don't believe in God. Some people don't believe in Jesus Christ. Some people don't believe in the Bible. And some of those people read it. And some of those people are told about it. But when you dive into the onion pages, do you really get out what you're supposed to have? Um, I watched The Secret the other night. I watched some of it. Um, talking about the laws of attraction. And it's not sexual. It's uh, attracting what is best for you and your progression. Racism still exists. Um... What else we have? We have we already know that black men get shot in the back, get shot and killed by white police officers. And we also know that they just kill them, period. Now we had something, the Seattle Seahawks football player, offensive lineman, and some guy, 6'7", six, 6'9", six, or whatever he was, 315, 320 pounds plus, has a black girlfriend, and he nearly beat her to death. As a matter of fact, I think they said he went to go and make a smoothie and came back and she got up and told me, you still alive? That's what he said to her. She ran into the bathroom, locked herself in. And so now the white man is beating the black woman. First, it was the black man getting killed. Now the news is starting to show a black woman getting beaten by a white man in a relationship, which I've said don't work. But who am I? Just some 
year 3015 profit or whatever, I probably don't know nothing because I'm frustrated myself and get very agitated and upset because people still, some people still don't see the greatness in me. And um, that does piss me the fuck off. It does. It does. I got somebody that agitates me right now as I speak. And um, I'm having to make these moves to separate myself. And I'm not talking about anything close to me. It's at a distance. But nonetheless, it's just like a gnat. The song that Eminem made. I need to go and check that out. Eminem destroyed this one. And that uh, Dr. Dre has a brain aneurysm. His wife, they get a divorce or whatever is happening. She wants half or all of his um, music. The money from the Beats by, Beats by Dre headphones. Hear rumors of T.I. and Tiny are doing threesomes with other people, paying them. You know, there's a secret world and a secret society. And my father passed away December the 13th, two days after Polo Meinstein's birthday, sometime after Dave's birthday and my niece Nuna. So... What are we talking about here? What are we saying? We're talking about life. And what are you going to hold on to as uh, we climb in these days? Are these the last days? Are they the last days? Are they the last days? I'm just a man in red right now. And I'm not gangbanging because I don't have no side. Is it a such thing as blue and red anymore? I don't know. Some people want to go back to the old days where racism or whatever else was running rampant. Things was happening the way they was happening. I don't know. I ain't that excited about going back to the way things was exactly. You know, because the way they were, it wasn't all that good for everybody involved, you know. So, so all you donut eat motherfuckers. Bang, bang, bang. Some people trying to live. Why? They have no idea. But they still trying to live. So let them. That's what I say. I'm interested in trying to be as happy as possible. I have a lot of headaches nowadays dealing with people. My own situation mostly. Because I do have the power to change things. Now I do believe in God and the spirit of God is necessary for me. Now I'm not going to argue with you if you don't believe God. But um, I'm going to do what I need to do. I need to contact some family members. Let them know that I love them. And kind of go from there. Tampa Bay Buccaneers are playing against the Kansas City Chiefs this Sunday for the Super Bowl. Hopefully my basketball team, we're playing for the championship in the eighth grade this weekend, hopefully. Four wins would be enough to do it. So we'll see what happens. Shout out to Migration Rams, the eighth grade champions from Bay Creek and Couch. We got different schools and things that's mixed into the tournament. Shout out to Sewanee at the Complex Academy for housing this event. I want to thank everybody that I love and everybody that loves me. Much respect for you guys. I'll talk to y'all later. Yes.